He dismissed the outbreak as a fantasy. He called measures to fight it hysteria. And as for the virus itself, he thinks that it's just a measly cold. No, we're not talking about Donald Trump. We're talking about the Trump of the tropics, the president of Brazil, Mr. Jair Bolsonaro, somebody who tried emulating the American president in dealing with this pandemic and suffered pretty much the same fate. Brazil has more than 374,000, 3,74,000 cases of the Wuhan virus. It is the second most infected country in the world. It cannot afford to ease lockdown restrictions, let alone lifting the lockdown altogether. Try telling that to this president. Jair Bolsonaro is out eating hot dogs and sipping on soft drinks. He is the president of Brazil in defiance of social distancing norms. He truly is in a league of his own. 23,000 lives have been lost in Brazil, but this leader is just not willing to acknowledge the outcome of his actions. He's out there holding anti-lockdown rallies. Just look at these images. These are from the 24th of May. Mr. Bolsonaro attended a government-sponsored protest against the lockdown. He arrived wearing a mask, but then he removed it as he greeted his supporters. The 65-year-old leader posed for selfies, even hugged young children. Not only is he putting his own life at risk, but also those of countless others. He thinks that he's immune to the Wuhan virus despite his age, as I said, 65 years old in the high risk age bracket. But Mr. Bolsonaro thinks that he has history on his side, his own personal history as an athlete. I'm not making this up. He said all of this on record. The Brazilian president thinks that he is not at serious risk of becoming infected because he was once an athlete. He says that in the worst case scenario, he would only have a little cold. We wonder why these special powers do not work on the many other athletes who have contracted this virus. Some very young people too. I have a few names. Rudy Gobert, a French professional basketball player. He's just 27 years old. He contracted the virus in March. Donovan Mitchell, an American basketball player, 23 years old. The headline is on your screens. Daniel Rugani, an Italian football player. He took caught the virus age 25. I have a list, you can Google the rest. I want to focus on Jair Bolsonaro. What explains his belligerence? A political scandal. Bolsonaro has been accused of meddling in a police investigation against his son. Brazil's former Justice Minister Sergio Moro himself made the bombshell ac accusation after his resignation in April. The federal police in Rio de Janeiro is investigating Bolsonaro's son Carlos for allegedly organizing a fake news scheme. Mr. President apparently tried to get the case quashed. The Supreme Court of Brazil has now released what it claims to be a clincher, a profanity-laced video from one of Bolsonaro's cabinet meetings. It shows the Brazilian president expressing frustration at his inability to influence the police. We have censored the abuses. Take a look at what he says. I already tried to change our security in Rio and I couldn't. That is over now. I will not wait for them to mess with my entire family just for fun or a friend of mine because I can't change someone from security because it belongs to the structure, it will change. If I can't change him, I will change his boss. And if I can't change his boss, I will change the minister. Brazil goes to vote in two years from now. Jair Bolsonaro may not be able to survive politically till then. The charges against him are severe. So he's using the oldest trick in the book, polarization. He is rallying his supporters by the thousands. He's making them throw all caution to the wind and stand in solidarity. He's forcing his ministers to take sides. Simply put, Jair Bolsonaro is gambling with the lives of millions of Brazilians just to stay in power.